and I run the Photogs Helper and a Life Condensed Photography. I am also a work from home mom, and I have with me today the lovely and beautiful Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Miss Kathy. Who loves to call me in the morning and tell me that she wants to do a recording with us without makeup on. And this Hi, is Milk Monster. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I sprung this on her, decided that no hair or makeup done, as you can tell. Um, just to, you know, give a little insight into the real world. You know, there's there's a lot of videos out there that uh <laughs> Everyone looks so glamorous. They have the sparkly backdrops and the perfect lighting and their hair and makeup done and their outfit picked to perfection. But the truth of the matter is that that's not really real. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're normally uh, in pajamas while we're at work. <laughs> yep, yep. In fact, I have my robe right here, nice and warm. <laughs> And you know what? That's okay because that's how we get our work done. That's how we're successful, and that's how we have time to take care of our family as well. Yep. Denise, you want to give a little bit about your family? I'm a photographer located in Las Vegas. We are a military family. My husband is career Air Force with the um, pararescue unit here at Nellis Air Force Base. We have five children, 24, 22, twins that are seven, and Milk Monster, who you just saw, who is going to be five on Friday. Yay, birthdays. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I only have one little girl who's almost four in January. And then my husband had a stroke a couple of years ago, so he's disabled. He's more of my rock, my support system, keeps me going mentally. And then we also have Suzanne, who lives with us, who helps take care of our daughter and it cooks us meals because I'm a terrible chef. I can barely make macaroni and cheese. <laughs> that was Ryan's job before his stroke, and so we brought someone in to help make sure we eat more than ramen and hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm based out of Oregon, and I absolutely love the Northwest. It's my favorite. Yes. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we... <laughs> we met on the internet and uh, hopefully we'll get to meet in person soon but she has helped Denise has helped me work on keeping my house cleaner <laughs> she is my support girl uncluttered life like <laughs> and and I just adore her to death um, so I roped her into doing this because I knew we do it she would do anything for me, <laughs> which is great because I'd do anything for her. So, yeah, that's just a quick little conversation because we're real. Look at this. <laughs> we're keeping it real. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing the video can't show my desk because I got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah, mine's a little dirty this week, too. Yeah, a couple packages to prep for clients, notes for blog posts and videos to do. I have a little half-made inspirational sign Aww. that I'm making. I have my chicken. <laughs> oh, because what desk is not complete without a rubber chicken? <laughs> no, I want a rubber chicken. <laughs> I have a rubber chicken. Uh, thanks to Miss Sandy Putch. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Love yes. it. Uh, my rubber chicken's uh, on my desk. <laughs> that oh man, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love wow. it. 
Yeah, I don't have anything exciting like that. <laughs> I have a, a plate from my dinner last night that has not made it to the kitchen yet. Let's see. A bracelet with an elephant on it. Aww. We just had a, a baby elephant born at the Oregon Zoo, so I can't wait until she's out and about to be able to meet her, even if it's not really meeting, but kind of. Right. <laughs> hmm. Nothing else is really interesting. Just randomness. Yeah. But that's okay. Because yeah. this insanity is kind of kind of good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have uh I have some uh my raisins that I ate earlier. Ooh, nice. Yeah. And I have my little uh some props I'm working on for my newborns. Ooh, are those nipple covers? <laughs> my newborns. Oh my god. <laughs> I heard this before. This is trippy rated G, and now it's gone downhill. I know. Into the gutter. Yes. <laughs> into the gutter. I guess if you wanted to, you could possibly use them for that, but no, they're supposed to go in the hair. Okay, yes. Are New horns, much better. New horns. New yeah. horns. Well, oh they, I gosh. don't shoot newborns, so I, my mind never goes there. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit our conversations on chat. <laughs> this is how it works. <laughs> yeah. Random. Yeah. But that's okay. Yep. So what do you want to talk about today? Hmm. Maybe a little bit of how you get everything done. You want to do that? How do I get everything done? I don't. Or anything <laughs> done? How do you get anything done? How about that? How do I get anything done? Okay. Well, let's see. My day starts at 6 in the morning. And we have Typhoon Trio that we have to get ready to go to school. Um, so everybody has breakfast, and while they're eating breakfast, I take my shower. That's always interrupted. Someone's always walking in there asking for something. And then uh, I come down. The kids leave. It's me and Bubba. And I normally try to work from 9 to noon, or I take like educational workshops or whatever between that time frame. And then from noon to one, I have lunch. Bubba and I do some kinder work. And then uh, from one to three, I become mom. <laughs> I, try, I try to make my house look organized at that point. Yes. Yes, that is our our thing. Hey, Sus, how's the water level? Um, she stopped it last time, so I was waiting. Yeah, for I didn't know if you asked her. As you can see, living the life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wake up anywhere from 4.30 yesterday to today I was up at 7.30 and kind of depends on how everyone in the house has slept and um, working through the day on Tuesdays and Fridays Avi goes plays with other family people so I have to take a, about an hour to drop her off um, and then come back and then I'm working on my own stuff or other people's stuff depending on what my particular schedule for the day looks like and uh, one of my goals for 2013 is to stop work completely by six. No emails, no phone calls, no editing, nothing after six so that I can have family time. And I even 
wrote it on my little goals sheet so yeah. that it's real. And if it's on my wall, then it's going to happen. Of course, Sweet. it's backwards. I don't know if it'll flip in the video. No, it did. So. It reads right. Okay, good. Because to me, it's backwards. And yes, so I, know. I don't even know if you can read it. But yeah. <laughs> The first two are for my Photogs Helper blog. These two are for my photography itself. And then this one is for my work-life balance. And so these are written down. And that means that it's hopefully going to actually happen. Yes. I think that's one thing that we tend to um, forget is that since we work from home, it's not like having a normal job where you leave the house, you go punch in, you work, you punch out, and then you come home and you let it go. Here is kind of like, you know, all right, I worked, um, but at the same time, you're like, oh God, I gotta do laundry and I gotta do this and I gotta go help the kids learn that and there's homework and there's, there's, I need to go, remember that I need to take some dinner over to somebody and everything just kind of like, whirlwinds into each other and so you feel guilty when you're working and then you feel guilty when you're doing home stuff yeah so it's it's like you just have to say you know this is a job yes exactly. even, though, even though we are very much um invested into it it's a job and we need to go okay from this time to this time i work and then from this time to this time I'm family and I need to respect myself and my clients also need to respect that too. Exactly. Yes. And, and that's something so important, but you can't you can't expect your clients to respect it if you don't respect it yourself. Exactly. And that's something that is really important to set up and educate your clients, your family, and also yourself to make sure that that's how it happens because otherwise nobody is going to believe it and yes. if nobody believes it nobody's going to listen to it or if you make excuses every time for okay I'll just answer this one email right now right. or I'll just take this one phone call right now then it's not nobody's gonna follow the rules because there's you're always gonna bend it you're exactly. always gonna make the changes and it's something that I have a really hard problem with uh, listening to but I'm going to be working better at it I'm gonna put my hours on my website which means that I can point to it or people can start to expect it how that doesn't mean that I won't do shoots in the evenings at all you know that's fine but it's gonna be scheduled and it's gonna be set up so that I can compensate to get <coughs> else done too and so that's yeah, that's my goal for 2013, which is coming up really, really fast. Oh, I know. Where did know. 2012 go? I don't know. I, I, uh, well, I spent half of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. We're seeing Santa on Saturday. And I'm just like, but no, it's, it's fall. It's not, you know, Thanksgiving hasn't happened yet. Oh, wait, I it has. I feel like we should still be in spring. Yeah. Just, you know, that might spring. just be wishful dreaming for me in particular. I mean, Vegas doesn't really have a whole lot of seasons, but uh, yeah, I wish I miss spring. Yeah. It's cold. Well, I'm cold here. I know I'm not supposed to be, but I'm cold here. It's okay. I have to be cold. I'm thin skinned right now, and I'm cold. <laughs> How did you survive in Okinawa? Okinawa was hot. Really? Yeah, so tropical. Oh. Yep. Well, there goes my geography lesson for the day. Yes, very hot, very nice. Good. Except for it rained all the time, but I'm good with rain. Yeah. I'm not good with cold. Yeah. I don't do cold very well either, but I don't do really hot even worse. Like... WPPI, even though it's, you know, February or I guess March this year, it it still is like, ooh, sunshine, okay, and now I'm ready to go back to the no clouds. <laughs> the the well, no I sun. Will, 
hopefully you will be there this year. I'm definitely hoping. Fingers crossed. Schedule. Yeah. <laughs> it's on my list for hoping. So, yeah. Okay, so back to scheduling. Yes, sorry. As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, even our our taxes are like that. They kind of like go all over the place. And yes, and yet we still manage to get things done. I don't understand. I know, but uh, yeah, the whole thing about um, my feeling when I went into photography was one, it gave me an outlet for my love of art. Um, yeah. I've, I've always been an artist since I was little. Just, you know, things didn't work out. But in the end, this is where I should be. And then, um, two, the freedom. Freedom of time. Freedom of making decisions. My husband's schedule is crazy. You know, uh, he's gone over 280 days out of the year. So I want to have that freedom to say, oh, he's home. And I can spend time with him and yeah. be able to schedule myself around him and my family. Yes, exactly. And that's that's awesome. <laughs> Yesterday I was able to do some work at a cafe with my daughter playing in the little toy zone while she had her little hot cocoa. And so having the freedom to do my work from wherever I want pretty much with the exception of, you know, certain things that I have to do at the computer, but like and the timing, I mean, last week we were in and out of the doctor's office multiple times for everyone. And so knowing that I could compensate to get my work done otherwise was really, really nice and something that I haven't been able to have. And so it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the things um, I've been doing is uh, reading been trying to put reading back into my life and um, I'm actually reading a book um, titled Mastery and it's by Green is his last name hold on I know I'm terrible yeah Richard Green He's the one that wrote Mastery. And he has a um, video on Chase Jarvis's site. Oh, awesome. Hold on, let me get that for you. Which I absolutely loved. I love Chase Jarvis. Chase Jarvis yes. is awesome. He's, He's so fantastic. giving to the community and, and yeah. everything they so do. Wonderful. Um. But if you go to, sorry, my computer's slow. If you go to Chase Jarvis's site and click on live, it shows his videos that he's um, interviewed people. Okay. And under, under, under there is his one that he did with Richard. No, Robert. Robert Green. It's actually at the top. Oh, okay. Creative Mastery with Robert Green. Yeah, it is amazing. Not only for not only for photographers, but for um, people in general. Yeah. It's a very good book. And That's I definitely awesome. recommend it. And if you can't, don't have time to read, watch the video because they do a really good job about explaining the book and stuff. Awesome. That is on my to-do list now because <laughs> I have a hard time reading too. Um, I, I mainly read on my phone, which is awesome because I'm able to do that in bed as I fall asleep. Um, and so that's something that I'm able to keep track of and not have to worry about pages. And I always have it with me. But I've also, like, I listen to a lot of podcasts as well, which is always really exciting because there's so many wonderful things out there. Um, 
to learn. I mean, education, and it's all free education. <coughs> Yes. Phenomenal. You don't have to pay unless you find something that you want to, you know. Yeah, I, you know, I believe strongly that there's so much free s options out there that don't look at paid things until either you have a recommendation from someone you trust or two, you have completely utilized all the free options out there and are ready to take it to the next level. Yes. And there's so many professional, uh... see, now, I don't like the word professional. <laughs> I guess I, <coughs> just because you, okay, let's put it this way. For me, professional means that you take money for your work. Correct. That's how I feel professional means. It does not have anything to do with the talent of the photographer. No. Being that said, um, there's so many professional photographers that are in business, that run businesses, and that give to the community, such as Jace Charvis, such as um, the people that he brings on to Creative Live. That's immense. I mean, most of my education has been because of Chase. I mean, really, in all my education in reference to um, learning and has been him and um, Zach Arias and David Duchemin. Oh my gosh, Zach Arias and David Duchemin, that's yeah. like my foundation. Their philosophy on photography. And <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a child's photographer. I shoot babies, newborns, and children. And, but I believe that it doesn't matter what you shoot, you can learn so much from different genres. Different oh, absolutely. And, and even if you get down to the nitty gritty, you can learn so much from other professionals that aren't photographers too. Yes. And being able to pull from a wide variety of sources for your inspiration, for your learning, for your education, all of that is, you know, it's important to be able to pull stuff for your life wherever you find it. Yes, like the uh, program by Lewis Howes, who he was teaching on how to run an online business. Yeah. Which a lot of our businesses are online. Our storefront is online. And the customer's first reaction to us is our, our websites. And even though it was based towards a product-based online service, I still watched it because of the fact that, you know, it, it had, um, had stuff that I could use, even though really I couldn't, but I could see how I could use it. Yes, exactly. And even if you have to tweak the information a little bit to have it work for you, it's still it's still worth the time because that anything that helps you start thinking differently is going to be a benefit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think that's good for now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, that's... Oh, hey, Denise, get on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> talk to me. I want to talk to you for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I'm sure we'll probably do another one of these, and maybe it'll be a little bit more planned out. Uh -oh. <laughs> At least topic-wise. It's fun Not. Team. It's us. <laughs> uh, that's all that matters. Yes, exactly. So thank you, Denise, for talking to me and still talking to me after we're done with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Please. I really just have to delete. Delete. Ah, I don't know this woman. No. Delete. <laughs> Careful. No, I know where you live. I know you. I love you. All right. Mwah. All right. Have a good day, I'll darling. You. Bye, everybody. Bye.